Is George Carlin even funny? Let's find out. So we got George Carlin today. Seven dirty words you can't say on TV. Now, the interesting thing about this is something that he said on here made them change something about Congress or something in the Supreme Court or something. There is a video on that, and if you guys want me to tap into that, I want you to write deeper in the comments so we can get deeper. Why do you guys like George Carlin? Let me know. Have you ever met him, and have you ever been to a show? All right? I want to get this video to 2,500 likes, and without further ado, let's get this started. <laughs> You know, that's the trouble with it, is trying to decide what to call these words, man, or trying to decide what to call this whole thing. You know, what are these words that I'm talking about? They're just words that we've decided, sort of decided, not to use all the time. That's about the only thing you can really say about them for sure, that they're just some words, not many either, just a few, that we've decided, well, we won't use them all the time. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's, and they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know. Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of words. All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words that we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay, if you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay. It's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'd be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. <laughs> they don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> that's two. Oh, my. That's See, that's an interesting um, thing that he says, and I think it's all about how we are raised. You know, um, when you're raised, you are raised to know right from wrong, you know, what words should say, and then you're, like, you know, reprimanded for the words that you shouldn't say. Once we lost that we lost society people know things are wrong and still saying things that are wrong that's where we at today that's what i like about george carlin it's like he's being comical but at the same time he's literally telling you something that's really deep to find out which ones they are <laughs> shit <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> that's too <laughs> oh my that's enough trial and error huh Please, Ma, give me a list, huh? <laughs> All right, you're six years old now, and here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass-kicking or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. They told you better. You better not say that. So you got to... And you don't know what's going to be on their list. God. People's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, they make 27 words. <laughs> These are the same people two days later. Different list. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way, double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. <laughs> but you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
though. <laughs> He's right about bitch. that. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's the only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. <laughs> Animals are fine on those two-way words. And that's it. That's what I was trying to find. The words that were always dirty, not just part of the time, but completely filth. Well, in, in looking for these words, I kept finding new categories. We have so many ways of describing these dirty words. It's, well, we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words. <laughs> that seems a little strange to me. It seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words. They kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty, filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, <laughs> in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, barracks talk, bawdy, naughty, saucy, raunchy, Rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off-color, <laughs> risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> yeah. uh. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete, but it was a starter set. <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck. Yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Assholes. Are there any words that y'all think should make the list? I mean, I know he's about to give us some examples, but are there any words that y'all know off the top of your head that should make the list that should never be allowed to say on TV? I want to know what y'all opinion is. And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch box, <laughs> pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, wow. joint, doniker, dork, poontang. <laughs> Cornhole and dingleberry. <laughs> Yo. Dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. Dingleberry sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> Let's put one on the tree, Dad. <laughs> so the words, as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Now, motherfucker came off the list immediately. The first day, in fact, they had a call from an English language purist. Some guy had to, he had to talk, you know, he got on the phone. He tells me I have a duplicate on my list. I have a duplication. He says, motherfucker is a duplication of the word fuck, technically. Because fuck is the root form, motherfucker being derivative, therefore it constitutes duplication. <laughs> and I said, hey, motherfucker, how did you get my phone number anyway? <laughs> Yo, the beauty, said, look, man, it, the beauty in a comedian is that they can tell a story. You know, you got comedians who try to be funny, and you got comedians who can tell a great story. The great comics could tell great stories. You know, we talk about any of the legends that we're going to talk about in the comments. They're going to tell a great story, and George Carlin is one of those, man. I said, look, man, it may be derivative, but you still can't say it. You still can't say motherfucker on TV, can you? He said, no, but you can't say fucky, fucking, fuckola, fuckaroonie, or fuckerino either. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, that would crowd up my list something awful. <laughs> so I just struck that motherfucker away. <laughs> struck it from the list. Motherfucker was gone. 
Now the list was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Does it sound like something's missing? Does it sound like an old friend is gone? <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Remember the old rhythm? Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Now, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. It falls apart. It isn't going anywhere. <laughs> and by now, cocksucker is the dominant word on the list. <laughs> Previously, with motherfucker on the list, cocksucker was somewhat balanced out. They were the only multisyllabic words on the list. But now, cocksucker stands alone. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt. Cocksucker, tits. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe it doesn't belong either. After all, motherfucker turned out to be a ringer. Let's take a look at cocksucker. <laughs> See, if this one belongs, we'll divide the word cock and sucker from each other, those words. Sucker isn't dirty. Sucker... That's it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> but it isn't dirty. And cock, that's not dirty all the time. That's one of those words that's only partly filthy. Cock, if you're talking about the animal, it's perfectly all right. They used to read that to us from the Bible in third grade. Mm. And we would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> cock is in the Bible. Remember the first time you heard about a cock fight? What? No. <laughs> and even the word cocksucker itself has been twisted out of all of its original meaning. It's been distorted. For some reason now, cocksucker means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? <laughs> Man, I have never watched a George Carlin reaction and not learned something. Uh, this seven dirty words, I've been hearing you guys tell me about it, so I decided to do it. And it's an interesting concept because it makes you think about who makes the decision on what's vulgar and what's not vulgar. You know? Um, you guys want to try to tell me that in the comments? One. Number two, there is another video that says that something happened within the Senate or the laws that they have to change because of him. If you guys want to watch that, watch. write the word deeper in the comments. If I see more than about 50 deepers in the comments, I'll pull up the video and we'll watch that next. Um, we're at 42,000. Make sure you guys subscribe so we can get to a million, and I'll see you on the next one.